so hana cockpit so to monitor the hana databases so initially when we don't have the hana studio so we have the when we have initially we have the hana studio sap hana studio this is the tool this is a eclipse based tool which we have to use which we have to install our own each and every users desktop and we have to connect to the hana systems and we have to do the monitoring and administration part so this is the tool which we have to install if 10 users then 10 users desktops we have to install the hana studio and we have to work it out right so this is the hana studio but so in case of if the users are if suppose so not all the users have access to the studio they cannot install it here so in that case sap introduced the SAP HANA Cockpit. SAP HANA Cockpit is the web-based tool, web-based tool here. Using this tool, we can monitor the same, monitor and administration of the all the HANA services, instances and everything here. The only difference is just you can use the browser tool, browser-based URL. This URL you can access from anywhere. This URL we can access from anywhere. Even mobile, you can access, then you can monitor the HANA systems and everything here. Similarly, here as well, HANA Studio also. So, but HANA Studio, this definitely you require the laptop. You need to line it to the remote server. From there, you need to open the studio. Installation, this has to do, right? This is a Eclipse based tool. So, the software we have to install in the, our local laptops or desktops, we have to install and we have to use it and uh, every user individually we have to configure the HANA systems here but here this is a centralized browser based tool we can install it then we can do the monitoring of the systems and everything here we can see the monitoring of the systems using the web based URL so once you configure it the same systems are available for others as well just we can do the monitoring and administration activities using the HANA cockpit here. HANA cockpit here. So that's we can do it here. So here HANA cockpit. So here I am showing for the BTP cockpit related URL here. This is the HANA cockpit URL here. So here uh, this one we have to use so just the web based URL. Just we have to use the web based URL. So in the URL you can see the all the HANA systems related everything we can see it here right so it's a very interesting user interface here very interesting very user interface here right here we can see the all the all the like whatever we see right HANA studio in the HANA studio whatever things we see right like uh, suppose example in the HANA studio we see the systems here right we see the systems here with uh, uh, all the tabs so all the information we can see it here right if you see it here you can see the overview tab so landscape tab alerts tab services performance alerts logs everything we can see it from here right this is what we can see it here so at the same time here at the same time here so same ana cockpit also we can see that this type of options are available here See here services right so this is this services each and every tab each and every tab is a tile here is a tile this we will call it as the tile here this we will call it as the tile here we can see as a tile here so here just to open the services here we can see the whether the all the hana process are running or not here we can see it here so service status cpu memory ports all the information we can see it here right so alerts if any alerts any critical alerts are generated in the system or not here also we can see it here critical alerts generated or not is there any errors so we can see it here right so is there any errors critical alerts then so all the information we can see it here right disk usage disk usage also we can see normally here we can see the disk uses volumes and here we can see the the disk usage and also data volume log volume usage and everything we can see it here here also we can see the disk usage but with the graphically also we can see it here and also historical data also we can see i want the disk usage from suppose example 
last one week then one week data also we can see the data from here one week data also we can see it from here right disk usage we can see it here this is the disk usage in the graphically also we can download the report in the pdf format we can export and we can so we can do this can not only disk usage and also we can see the the memory usage also we can see it here the memory usage how the memory usage will be here right so what is the cpu usage memory usage tpu usage here so how the cpus are behaving it's graphically we can see the all the information and everything here graphically we can see the all the information and everything we can see it here so this kind of things and we can see the CPU, how the CPUs are behaving, what are the longer ending statements here, what are the expensive statements here, what are the background jobs are here, right? So time frame are present. So all the information, last 15 minutes, last 20 hour, last hour, last, whatever the time frame you required, all the information we can see it in the, so we can see it in the, in the, in this, in this tool here, okay? In this tool, we can see the performance monitor right performance monitor we can see it here and memory usage here here we can see the memory usage here so memory usage how the memory usage cpu usage in the graphically we can see the live utilizations here sql statement disk usage connection sessions right sessions so and also the replication so then sessions sessions also we can see how many threads are opening how many sessions are active currently in the system so then you can see the alerts, definitions, uh, dumps, checking the log files, diagnosis files, backups, backups are completed or not here. Here we can see the utilization, smart data integrations, audit policies here. So then users and role management, users creations, roles, role management here. So smart data access console, same, same as like your on-premises systems, how, what we do in the, what we do in the, Anna studio system information, diagnosis files, race configurations. So right, diagnostic files. So everything what we do here, each and everything in the browser level, we can monitor it here. We can see, we can monitor from here. All those things we can monitor it from here, right? So tables, so users, certificates. So then audit policies enabling here. So backups checking, so best backups, backups checking here. So all the information we can check in the, with the browser based URL in the browser based URL, we can see the all the successful successful backups. So all the information we can see it here, all the information we can see it in the systems here. So it is a kind of a new user experience with kind of a new user experience. We can monitor the each and everything here. We can monitor the each and everything. We can monitor it here. That is the one kind of thing we can see it in the kind of things we can see it in the and the HANA cockpit here. Same as like monitor. So if you are not sure then what to monitor, then we can we can just if you search it out here, we can search it out from here. Suppose like sessions, if you want to see the HANA sessions, then sessions you will get how many sessions are active and all the information you will come to know here. All the information you will come to know here how many sessions are active here idle time inactive time you can see it from here right so that summary we can find out from here so and also we can also suppose if you don't know something then so suppose you want to check the performance related performance performance related things here then performance related the tabs will be displayed here manage monitor the performance here analyze the workloads so monitor the table usage which tables longer large tables here which tables are the very very large tables here we can monitor it here so these tables are very so large tables here we can monitor the all the information and everything here right so then like that so all the information in one browser screen we can monitor it here one browser screen we can monitor in the ana cockpit here cockpit has a service concept here here we can monitor the all the information and everything here everything so we can monitor it out here and also sql console there you can write the sql statements in the database explorer so sql console here you can write the so statements like uh, uh sql statements if you want to write it so normally in the hana studio we have to right click and open in the sql console there you will write the SQL queries and statements and everything. But in the HANA studio, 
here we can we can we can go to the sql open the sql console we can see the all the information here so here also you can see the diagnostics files log files all the information we can see it here so index server log file so log log file all the log files also we can see diagnostic files so here we will call it as the diagnostic files here as well here we can see how can we see the all the log files and everything here also we can see the all the log files details and everything we can find out from here right so log files so we that is the so this is the container hd container here so in the cloud level we have the hdi container where the developers will store the de development related data in the in the hdi containers here same catalogs tables right same catalogs are available tables are available we can see the tables catalog schemas and everything is available here here we can see the data so we can see the open the data here so see here data is opened so like that so how we can go to the in the hana studio catalogs under the catalogs we have the schema schemas under the tables we can view the table data so same as like here also we can go to the tables schemas all the information we can see it from here right so and also if you want to write the sql statement you can also write the sql statement here so select something like that star some something like that if you want to write anything we can write the sql statements as well we can write it here right so that is the one thing here so that and so tables blocked transactions any blocked transactions suppose if any tra transactions are blocked normally in the on-premises systems in the performance tab we'll see the all the these things right each and everything whatever we do in the on-premises hana studio similarly we can see the all the information in hana cockpit as well in the hana cockpit we'll see the all the information and everything here whatever the information we have we can see the all the details and everything here blocked transactions and each and everything here okay so this is the one thing we can see it here and apart from that yes blocked transactions cpu so live utilization will show the live live related things and everything here table usage monitor the performance sessions so then diagnostic files alerts dumps manage the full system information dump system dumps to troubleshoot the issues here everything here right so then user management security related things here certificates so then all the information in the one screen simply we can monitor it here simply we can monitor the all the administration related things and everything we can monitor it here by using this one okay so that is the so this is the so hana cockpit here same both are same both are like a monitoring tools only to monitor the hana administration part so same thing here also we can but this is the tool which we have to install it but this is the web based tool web based tool which we have to is centralized we have to install it so then just open the url and you can connect to the hana databases you can monitor the all our systems all our sessions and everything and also one more important thing is here so here the tiles are displayed like a by default you don't need this one should be here you want this one should be here then you can adjust it your tiles however you want to adjust it just you can drag and drop it you can adjust your own things and everything we can adjust it here so that it will display the all the information and everything here so performance monitor and everything whatever we have everything we can do the monitoring here like we can find out the what causing the issue here so what cpu what alerts are causing the issue what statements what are the expensive statements are running in the systems so these kind of things we can do it from the here okay so this is the so on a cockpit here simple just web based monitoring either you can also do it from here but you can also do it from here there is no differences but here it's just web based tool you no need to add it simply you can just monitoring and everything we can do it here so you can also stop and start all those things we can perform it here okay so this is the ana cockpit related thing here but both are same just only uh, just monitoring versus how you are monitoring either studio or cockpit whatever but the tabs are same way we can monitor the everything here okay <clears throat> uh, 
and uh, yeah any other things anyone you wants to highlight what is the difference between uh, hana studio and unicorn oh did you miss the the initial class my initial class no no i didn't 